country girl hooked it up. Oh yeah. Look at that fanciness. Oh. Yeah, probably need a little bit of air. Dang right. Alright, so we got a rack. Got to do a little bit of assembling. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool, man. Get a little bit of battery. It comes with and some screw as, so we don't want to lose those. A semi actually showed up to deliver this thing. Another nice, cool-looking wheel. Definitely needs some air in them. Those spinners. Four wheels. Another box of parts here. All right, so this is how it sits in the frame here. We gotta unbolt this. Just holding it down by the axle here. That might be a spot right there we could bolt a little trailer hitch to because we were talking about the trailer hitch and building a trailer for this little thing. So Elion could have his own little work trailer. So we might be able to work, put a ball right here somehow maybe. We'll, we'll figure that out. We got this wire here holding this down, so I'm gonna undo that. Got the handlebars here, they're attached by these cables, throttle cable and the brake cable. So it came packaged well. And this looks like the front bumper attached here. Need to cut that. Heck yeah. first thing you would want to do is put the wheels on possibly uh, I guess I got to fill up the air compressor probably go ahead and fill them tires up with air first so that'll be the first step dang right 110 cc's and uh, you know Elion loves that spider-man so she hooked him up with spider-man Paint job, X Pro. What else is on here? Off road use only. Looks like some really nice brakes. Looks like a cool little muffler there. Foot brake. I'm gonna go crank up the air compressor and the generator. I just turned it off. So I guess while I'm doing that, I might as well fix me some more coffee. But uh, we gotta put some air in these, and then we'll put them on, and this thing will be on wheels. Gotta find a couple tools. Let's get in it. stunts already <laughs> he's still riding
he is uh, a happy boy right now. Happy boy right now. Oh, country girl, you the shiz, man. You are the shiz. For real. That is so sweet, it's got a light on it. That is so awesome. And a brake light.
This is why the uh, the trigger lock is awesome. dirt out of your eyeballs because I was blowing that way and it seemed like the breeze was coming right towards me mm. well are you done yeah I got that blown out uh I think I want to cut up that log into firewood and uh firewood pieces and get that out of there that way I can blow easier Wait, Dad, that big log is in my way right there so Dad, we got to get rid of that and uh get rid of this other one right here and uh <laughs> what are you ever gonna do, do that fire pit Whew. that fire pit what that fire pit with boxes and leaves oh yeah that big trash pile yeah oh yeah we'll light it up eventually it's gonna be a nice fire today? no not today we got a lot of cleaning up around it to do first mm -hmm. so it don't spread when we make a huge fire Dang, right. <clears throat> I've been wanting to clean some of this stuff up. I'm tired of looking at all this stuff. And I need firewood now. It's getting to be some chilly nights, and this is a lot of firewood right here. So I figure I can uh, beautify this and uh, get me a little, cut me up a little bit of firewood, move some of these branches, make the view look nicer from the shelter. And, uh, then get on making some boards. Trying to get some stuff done today. And I blew a bunch of the leaves and uncovered a lot of wood. Like all these little sticks like this that I cut. Great firewood. So cleaning up some firewood and making things prettier back here. On our way to green pasture. A lot of this, uh, a lot of this brushy stuff going in the, uh, pile over here. We're going to have a huge freaking fire. We're going to burn this whole pile. <sighs> but I got to pick this good stuff out of it. Save that in the fire pit. Stay warm. <laughs> Oh, this stuff out of here. I've been looking at this mess over here for so long. It's been a long time since I cut down this tree. We actually have uh, the video on the Chris and Holly show where we dropped this big tree, the big oak tree that was over the shelter. We dropped that down here. That's what a lot of this is from. Dropped a couple other poplar trees over behind y'all we dropped those this way so we've just had mess out here for so long that I've needed to clean up
Oh yeah. We're gonna have some splitting to do a little later. I'll put these things in this pile and then I'm gonna come over here and start splitting them with an axe. Pretty easy stuff to split. This is old dry poplar. So this should burn pretty nice. What's a nice pile over here? I've been looking at this tree for so long, what and wanting to cut this up and clean some of this mess up for a while now. Finally today I just got the of the motivation and energy to do it at least to start on it at least one step closer to getting a lot of this uh, a lot cleaner and safer to burn this pile of trash Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a lot of work ahead of him, so don't be too hard on him. That was some of my best memories. When I was like seven, I got a four wheeler. That was some of my best memories. That, that, and camping and fishing and doing stuff with my dad. Those were some of my favorite memories. So I feel very blessed and. He is very blessed to uh, grow up like this and be able to just be outside riding, playing in the woods and camping. And it's pretty awesome. Here's the view from the shelter here. You know, all them leaves I just blew. All that wood, that big log I cleaned up. So now I can blow the leaves further out that way. And then I'll blow them back this way towards the trash pile here. And I'll blow out here, kind of around it, back towards the pile. And then we'll just have a safe, clear area to, to light that pile right there on fire. Got us a nice stack of firewood for the fire pit. And it just looks a lot better when you're walking back here. And I'm, I've been walking back here a lot, picking up wood and burning it and, you know, splitting it and burning it. So, uh, I'm trying to cut all this up. All this other stuff i want all this nice and clean back here so uh i wanted to do a little bit of that i'm not gonna do much more really what i want to do is get back here and get a a couple boards milled and uh, that was my main goal today but i was looking back here like man i want to clean some of this up and get us some firewood easy firewood right here to split it's right here by the shelter by the fire so uh so that was definitely work worth uh taking a little bit of time to do got it all blown out and clean and pick up some of this other stuff i got a quite a bit more over here that i got a, a lot of this stuff over here i gotta still cut up and blow the leaves off of it first so i can really see it but I'll uh, spend a little bit of time here and there on that i'm not just gonna take a full day on it not today anyway because i want to get i want to start working on these boards at least get two boards milled today and then i was thinking a couple more tomorrow and then we'll uh we'll definitely cover that walkway
go. That is one real pretty board. Goodness. Look at that. And once I get this board ripped off, I'm going to have to put something over here to support this tree. Hold it up. Because the more boards I start ripping off of here, the thinner it's going to get. And the uh, thinner and weaker this, uh, this part is going to be once it gets down like another board or two. Then it's going to be about almost halfway through. So then we'll start losing strength in this log. So I'm going to need something under it to hold it up. So I can get the rest of the boards out of here before it falls. Then once I finish getting the boards out of this, then we're going to cut this thing and just kind of let it fall over on the ground. And then we'll be kind of milling over, over there on the ground when we start on this one. Another 16 foot length uh, of boards. Another one. Oh. oh yeah, pretty too. pretty boards goodness gracious man if we can put this on the uh walkway and put a finish on these boards oh my goodness that's what they'll look like <laughs> wow well there we go we got us some uh a couple boards today Ooh. did some playing Got some work done. Huh. Start cutting some of this mess up, especially get it out of the trail here. But uh, got some firewoods. Oh yeah, look at that prettiness. That is nice. Oh, wrong way. Some nice looking boards. And we're losing the sun. So, so that's awesome. We got a couple boards for the walkway. Uh, had a pretty good day. Got a little bit cleaned up around the spot. Um, just every bit, a little bit that I can get done each day, just it adds up over time, and it's awesome. Even if I just spend thirty minutes to an hour on a spot just to clean it up, like I've been wanting to do, and getting a couple boards milled and finishing the walk ramp and just i'm just all over the place and uh playing with four wheelers building stuff fixing stuff i got a lot of work to do on the pickup truck real soon um got some parts on the way to uh do a little bit of work to that thing but uh yeah just trying to fit it all in and uh keep the family happy while we're doing it and you know but uh I'm going to put a nice fresh edge on this chainsaw, this new chain. I did three cuts with it, and uh, I think it'll be real nice if I go ahead and put an edge on that. Uh, more than likely in the morning, when I wake up and I'm drinking some coffee, I'll probably... Uh, <laughs> probably do that in the morning while I'm drinking some coffee and put a fresh edge on this dang new milling chain. And uh, get back out here and mill two or three more boards. Uh, hopefully in the morning or early afternoon. And 
go put these boards up on the walk ramp because this is going to be beautiful. I only need, uh, I got two. Can't need much more than, you know, three more maybe. Cut like three or four more. We should have plenty to finish that. So, so that is awesome. And also tomorrow, I got to figure out what I'm going to put under here to support it. Maybe something like this. Maybe a little more uh, heavy duty. Oh no, that is pretty big and heavy duty there. I might be able to stand that up under there and just uh, kind of wedge it under there as much as I can just to support it, stop it from going down. But, uh, dang right, I'm so ready to uh, finish this walk ramp, sand this floor. I got some finish on the way for the floor and uh, do the front wall. And we got a couple other little things we got to do, man. And this thing will be wrapped up in uh, even more fun because we got something pretty cool for the porch on the way. And I'm trying not to say anything about it or talk about it much until we actually uh, do it and show it. It's going to be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Elion, he is, uh, he's in heaven right now with this little ATV. Thank you so, so much, country girl. Oh my God, you don't even know. You made his life. And uh, it's gonna make our lives a lot easier too. Holly can edit and do more stuff without him up her behind. He'll just be out playing and being a lot more entertained than he was. So uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for that. And uh, God bless everyone. God bless all of our YouTube family members. We've had a ton of help from everyone. And uh, even just watching our videos and leaving positive comments to just, you know, root us on a little bit and keep us going and in, in, in a positive mindset and uh, with lots of gratefulness and love. And so we love you guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and... Uh, Rip some more boards after I sharpen up this chain and get a nice fresh edge on it. It's going to rip. So I got to pack all this up. And uh, maybe we'll bust out the axe and uh, chop a little bit of this wood on the pile. Just, uh, you know, just to get a fire started. fire ain't it are you sure you want to use all that wood dang right i mean that's like three fires there dang right <laughs> Babysitter. Yeah.